Investors. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hey, Robert, how you doing, man? Yes, good, and thank you for taking my call. I wanted to Morning. let you know that I've been a subscriber for a couple of years, just different members of your team, and I really enjoy it. But really the reason I'm calling is to express my sincerest gratitude for you providing that information information yesterday on the small business grant. I'm a small business owner and primary breadwinner for my family. And if I can get that money, it's going to really mean a lot to my family. So that's awesome. thank you for uh, taking the time to do that. No, uh, well, listen, man, we appreciate you growling a problem with us. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Accept others the way they are. You cannot change other people. To change them to fit what you want them to be is like trying to change a dog into a cat or a cat into a horse. They are what they are, and you are what you are. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 328, NASDAQ up 49, S&P's up 45. That's a gain inside the NASDAQ composite, folks, of 2.5%, 1.2 inside the S&P's, and 7 tenths of 1% inside the Dow Industrials. Gold, gold contract up a buck, trading at 17.22 an ounce. We got silver up six cents, twenty-six dollars sixteen cents an ounce. Light sweet crude up a buck sixty-six, sixty-six dollars eleven cents a barrel. Notes and bonds, ten-year note up two ticks right now, one thirty-two nineteen. The thirty-year down nine at one fifty-seven twenty-eight. And king dollar, king dollars get fall through to the downside out here, down four hundred and two ticks, ninety-one four twenty. There is divergence here, no doubt, because you know gold uh, basically is going to need more volume. As it's going to higher price, you really get a flat market in gold, yet the dollar is pulling back. The euro is at 119, the yen is at 108.48, and the British pound is at 139 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648, and I will get those charts up for you right there. There we go, bingo. Let's get over and take a look at the S&P. So what do we have inside this market here? Well, you get a Thursday uh, running into Friday. And what I expect you're going to see out here is that that, that run is going to continue. Uh, you're going to get a little run into the close out here. Uh, right now, the spies are up $4.62. You're trading at $3.94.24, and that's over the high. Uh, bottom line, the longer this can stay over the high right now, even intraday, uh, the more pressure it's going to be, uh, buying pressure, uh, inside of the markets. If we go take a look at the Dow Industrials, what you have inside the Dow Industrials is that you not only have broken out, uh, you're quite a way away from the breakout area. So what that is saying is this. That is saying that the S&P also is going to break topside and break out. That being said, and the X100, whole different animal, man. Whole different animal. Doesn't mean that, that uh, to me, what is happening here is that I suspect the Qs are going to try to basically first get through their resistance. And it's going to be very tough to get through here because what has happened is this, is that the Qs, folks, came down hard and fast, have volume on the way down, nice snapback, no doubt about that. My take is that this is going to be in a consolidation. That being said, you can see the kind of flack that we're into. And the contraction today is pretty dramatic. There's, there's no doubt. Now, that tells me, though, that, okay, 323, 324 is the top of where most of this flak is coming from. The bottom of that flak started at 310. It raced right through 310. So that's telling me flat out that we are going to go to the top of it. We'll see how that shakes out. 
Um, that being said, the highs inside the queues are 338, and I'm looking at 324. So we'll see how this shakes out the next couple of days, but I do expect you're gonna have a continuation tomorrow right into this area. We gotta take a look at the gold contract out here. Gold contract have 193,000 contracts, which is decent contract volume. That being said, guess what? Need a lot, you need, we need more volume, we need more price spread. Um, 1722 is where we're at. I suspect we're gonna, you know, 1771 is where you're gonna commit to some flack and we'll see how we get there. The GDX, we go take a look at the GDX out here. What's gonna get interesting on the GDX is this. Oh, this is interesting. Okay, so it's, it's popping even, you know, this last hour in the GDX is gonna be a big deal. The reason being, folks, is this, is that we, when we went up on Tuesday, you had some decent volume, we had 26 million. You're only at 14 million right now. So the bottom line is that I wanna see that baby um, get up until at least the 20 million. Now, that's gonna be tough to do, that being said, what does happen inside the GDX is that the biggest trades come in at the end of the day. That's how the, GD, the GDX trades like the IWM. Uh, the sponsors of evidently the GDX as well as the um, IWM, basically that's how, it, that's how they have it set up. And in order to basically get to net asset, uh, net asset value. So we'll see what the volume uh, comes in at the end of the day. We gotta take a look at the note and bond market. What we have with the note and bond market is that you've got a, a flat market. Uh, you are building cause for higher price. My take is that we've bottomed out inside of the note and bond market. Right now, you got the 10 years trading up two ticks. We are out here at 132.19. Um, it's gonna take quite a bit. I mean, it's gonna take quite a bit to get to the downdraft. When you get a downdraft like we had on the uh, 25th of February, that's when that 10 year went from that uh, 134 level to 132 level, you can't expect that you're gonna eat right through that. You know, bottom line, it's gonna be choppy, it's gonna be a sideways move, uh, back and forth, back and forth, driving everyone uh, basically out of their minds. Some of the higher volume equities out here, uh, today you get uh, GE down a buck 17, as, as we've been saying for a long time, GE is toast, man. There's, there's nothing behind GE. They've been basically selling everything off, um, you know, there, it's it, even the cooking of the books, that whole deal is not over. And now what you have with GE is that you came off the highs with monster volume. Uh, so we're 12 bucks here, next leg down, somewhere around uh, 1064. And if you break 1064, then GE is gonna be uh, in big trouble. We have uh, Ford Motor Company is uh, down 11 bucks. You get Advanced Micro. Uh, up four dollars. Let's go look. T take a look at a couple of chip stocks. So you get Advanced Micro coming off the bottom. Okay, so that's going to be a consolidation. That's up four bucks. Volume's not bad. Let's go to Walmart for a second because Walmart came off the bottom yesterday, and that, these checks are going to be uh, Walmart's going to get a lot of these checks. So Walmart's flat. You know, I mean, if you're looking for <laughs> if you're looking for a trade for a, a few days, folks, um, I'd be all over Walmart uh, uh, for two different reasons. Okay, what happens with Walmart is this: is that Walmart did a natural retracement, came back to its breakout area. Um, you know, and to me, it does want higher price. Um, on top of the, the stimulus checks coming out, guess what? When you got the largest store in the world and you have just distributed 1,400 to just about everyone in the United States. Guess what? Business is going to be very brisk uh, in the next uh, 20 days. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Hi, folks. Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks!
If you're not currently using the Taz Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The Taz Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, Taz understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the Taz Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the Task Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Call, call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading up 221. You get the NASDAQ up 340. S&Ps are up 45. Let's go over and take a look at the composite. So you get the composite, uh, real juice behind it. This is the second day um, with real juice behind it. No doubt about that. You get it up 2.6%. And you can see you're coming into the uh, top of the resistance. Uh, we're at 13,408. Uh, 200 more points, folks, at the top of that resistance. So it's going to be really intriguing watching this uh, shake out tomorrow. That's what it comes down to. What we do have happening, let me just look at this indice volume out here. Okay, so we're going to keep an eye on this. So the ind indice volume is not bad, folks, okay? We are at 3.19 p.m. You're at 4.8 billion. Uh, we did 5.9 yesterday. Let's say it's going to do at least 6 billion. Six billion is not bad. It's, it's going it's to need that type of juice in order to sustain higher price. We'll see how it uh, comes into it. Inside, inside the NDX 100, the strength versus the weakness. You got Pinduo Duo is up by nine and a half percent. Mercado Libre is up nine and a half percent. You get Marvel Technology up eight percent, and you got uh, Oda. Uh, what is Oda? What is this? Let me see. Is this Oscarsh? Internet? No. Oda application. This is up 18%. This is a one big number, man. I'm not familiar with this equity. Well, bottom line is that uh, you're up on light volume, but bottom line is that uh, it's putting juice into the NDX 100. No doubt about that. Taken away from it, uh, the NDX is that you get Kraft Heinz is down at 2%. You get Alexa Pharmaceutical off 1%. T-Mobile is down uh, 9 tenths of 1%, and Gilead is off nine tenths of one percent let's go take a look at the xau the hui out here uh xau have some juice behind it you're up by three dollars uh this never basically broke let's see well it, it did break a swing low that being said 
what we have now is we are right not only inside the range. Let me look at this, how this is set up. Oh, this is cool. Okay, so you get the XAU. We definitely broke that downtrend, the downtrend that we've been in since the, what is that, the 20, it's January, about January 2nd. Uh, we broke that downtrend. Gold bugs index, we take a look at the gold bugs index out here. And that's going to need juice. Now, this is where this is going to get really interesting. Um, interesting is the wrong word, actually. We, we need volume and price spread inside the HUI because this is what ends up happening, folks. When the, when the gold bugs index is weaker than the XAU, your probability gets higher that the actual physical gold contract is going to stall out. What we like to see inside of the metals market, if you're a bull, is that we like to see that the gold bugs index is stronger than the XAU. And it has to do with the hedging capabilities of the XAU versus the HUI. Uh, some of the silver stocks, let's take a look at some of the silver stocks for some of the tigers out here. You get uh, Great Panther, uh, that's up three cents. Now, this, that, this is, you're up, but you're going to need more volume uh, inside, of, inside of Great Panther. Don't have, that does not have it yet. Uh, Vista Gold, Vista caught the bid once again. Uh, bottom line is that this is up six cents. You're trading a dollar four. Uh, I suspect Vista is on its way up to this uh, 124 to 145 level. Uh, you get some good buying that's coming in here. Freeport Mac Moran. Now, check this here. Let's go to the, gold, the, the copper contract first because copper has been projecting for a huge amount of time, folks, okay, that inflation's here, has been here, the commodity run is here. I, I absolutely understand that, yeah, choppiness, yeah, choppiness, choppiness is always, it seems, inside of the commodity market. That being said, what you're going to see is that you're up 10 and a half pennies, okay? Now, check this out. This is where this is going to get really cool in copper. If we take a look at just the last expansion contraction, what you're going to see out here is that we pulled back and we almost got to a 0.618, but we didn't. That is saying that copper can do an ABC structure on the way up. The last high that was established inside the copper market was $3.47 a pound. You have the wide price spread out here today. You have the Volume behind the move, that's saying, number one, you're going to the high. We'll see whether we break that high, and if, in fact, we break that high, is there an ABC structure on the way up? We go over to the two largest copper equities out here, Freeport Mac Moran. They're responding, and they are responding with volume. Freeport Mac Moran is up $2.95. That is uh, 21 million shares traded out here. That's going up for its highs, or which is the $39.36. SCCO, which is Southern Copper, what we have with Southern Copper out here, that also has volume behind the move. You're up three dollars and eighteen cents. You're at seventy-eight dollars. That high out here uh, is the uh, eighty-three dollar level. So you're going to continue to see some real moves inside of that copper market. Now let's get over to the dollar. So what we have with the dollar is this: you follow through in the dollar. And what has also happened now is this. We're at 91,385. Well, as soon as we got back inside 91,600, that was the swing point that the dollar has been trying to take out for a long period of time. So you get up over it. We got right to ice. You gave it up. And what that says now is that, guess what? Now what is game once again is the lower end of this consolidation, which is the 89 area. If we go take a look at the euro, you're going to see just the opposite moves out here. The euro right now is up 59 ticks at 119. We go take a look at the British pound. British pound out here also up 59 ticks. That is trading out at a price point of 139. And the most important one for the gold contract, folks, is the yen. And we need some help from the yen. You know, the yen. Uh, Bottom line, had given it up off its highs. We, the yen was a very fast move from the 104 to 109 area. Now, what we've done out here today, okay, is that we tried to get the higher price. 
and the yen, and higher price in the yen, folks, means a weaker yen. Well, it gave it up. So that's telling me that as we commit to Friday tomorrow, that is saying that the bottom line is that the yen is going to go lower, meaning stronger. The dollar already basically is lower, and this is where the divergence comes in, that you still don't have enough buyers inside of the physical gold market in order to really basically get a wide price spread, accelerated volume, sign of strength going. We go take a look at the silver market, and silver, there's no doubt silver has been stronger than the gold market. We take a look at silver, what you're gonna see with silver, we're at $26.19, and that, that market still wants higher price. Stay right there, folks, come right back. Hi folks, this is Tom O'Brien. The printing presses are working 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The US deficit has risen 200% in one year with no end in sight. The markets are looking for an additional stimulus bill to get us through this once in a generation pandemic. There is no free lunch, folks. The more stimulus dollars put into the marketplace, the less your dollar is worth each and every day. This is the time to protect yourself with a portion of your portfolio in the metal market. The Gold Report comes out each Monday morning. I bisect and dissect the dollar. Silver, gold, the XAU, and the HUI. The Gold Report is a long-term hedge against the dilution of your buying power. The U.S. has put more than $6 trillion into the marketplace in the last six months, with more expected in the next few months. The market did and does need the stimulus, but it will have long-term implications on our buying power. The Gold Report comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Go to TFNN.com and order the Gold Report now. Protect your buying power. Order the Gold Report now. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational web webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now up 227. You get the NASDAQ up 354. S&P's are up 46. What did I just do here? Let me see this thing. Reset. Okay. Okay, let's go take a look at uh, a couple of the gold equities for a couple of the targets out here. First one is going to be Royal Gold. Uh, Royal Gold right now uh, trading up $1.29. You're at 251,000 um, shares. 
We're going to want a little more uh, volume on Royal Gold also. Uh, my take is that Royal does want to run up into this uh, 115 area. Right now, you're at 108.72. Now, let's go take a look at Franco Nevada, which is another streamer. Uh, Franco Nevada right now. Oh, this is good. Franco Nevada, get the juice, man. Okay, this is, this is we needed this. Franco Nevada is up 526, 1.2 million. And you can see yesterday, man, what happened is this. Yesterday, someone walked into Franco Nevada yesterday in a big way. Uh, look at this volume. Uh, this is what you're looking for, folks, when you're trying to look for footsteps in, inside the marketplace. The volume just exploded, yet the price didn't yesterday. So when you're going into a swing and you see the volume explode and you're, you're pushing into a higher part of the swing, bottom line, that, that is always a heads up. And you get the follow through there. That's telling me that Franco Nevada also is going to start making its way up to this area of 125. Now let's do this. Let me just see. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up a 13F quick <clears throat> because what does happen is this. If in fact a owner that had already owned a substantial amount of Franco Nevada comes in, they'd have to do a filing immediately. Uh, if we take a look at this, that has not happened. Uh, I'm just giving you the heads up of how this does work, though. Let's go over to Barrick Gold, and we take a look at Barrick Gold. Uh, Barrick Gold right now, uh, flat market. Barrick's going to need more volume. Uh, Aniko Eagle, AEM. What you have with Aniko Eagle, that's also going to need more volume right now. We're up uh, 91 cents. Uh, that is the 889,000. We get over to the silver market. We take a look at the silver ETF, which is the SIL. This is trading up six cents right now. That needs volume also. Yeah, that definitely needs volume. We take a look at a, f a few of the silver stocks. We go to Hecla Mining. We take a look at Hecla. Hecla has both. He Hecla does have the price, does have the volume. That is sustaining itself out here. Let's go take a look at um, Endeavor. Uh, Endeavor right now is up 14 cents. That could use more volume. Uh, PAAS, which is one of the strongest uh, silver stocks out here. Pan American Silver. That's going to need more volume, too. And we had some divergence out here, man. This is going to get interesting uh, watching uh, how this, this whole thing uh, actually does shake out uh, the next couple days. Because we do need... Well, we have the divergence. That, that, that's, that's the bottom line. And we did need more buying inside of that market to sustain higher price. We go take a look at uh, a couple of the king dogs out here. We start with Amazon. We take a look at Amazon. Uh, Amazon's up $59 right now. It did reject lower price, never got there. That's saying that Amazon is going to run up to, we're at uh, 3139 So 3200 is game inside Amazon. Uh, Microsoft, Microsoft wants to go to its highs. Microsoft, a uh, nice setup. Uh, Microsoft was one of the strongest stocks um, prior to that uh, downdraft last week. I suspect Microsoft's going to go all the way back up to this high. We're 237, and that, that 246 is game once again. Uh, Netflix, this is pretty cool. So Netflix, folks, which we had talked about the last few days, Netflix came down, closed its gap, Bottom line, you know, we came down off a high of uh, 593. Uh, we reached 480, 490, 492 on Monday, closed the gap. Now the bottom line, you're right back inside the range. So what, what, what Netflix does have, and this is, this is pretty intense, man. Netflix has a high volume high, man. This is not done. That, that high volume high on Netflix is real, uh, $593. So that's saying that, guess what, this is a monster consolidation, sideways consolidation, no doubt about that. But that is saying that, uh, once again, that this baby can get all the way up to that level. Uh, and we'll see um, if, in fact, number one, does it get up to that level? And if it does get up to that level, uh, is it, in fact, an ABC structure on the way up? You know, so that is going to, uh, NASDAQ-wise, uh, it's no doubt uh, important because of the fact of how, how the NASDAQ came down. Let's go over to the good old darling of the NASDAQ, Tesla. So what we have with Tesla is this. Tesla didn't hold price yesterday. So te Tesla came down off its highs, 900 bucks, right? 
We get down into a price point of uh, 539. Yesterday, gave it up on price totally. Today, what you have, you get a, yep, 30 bucks, you really get a sideways move. That sideways move has a contraction of volume. So inside of the NDX 100, as well as the, no doubt, the, the S&Ps, this is telling me that uh, the bottom line is that the NASDAQ and Tesla are going to continue to have a, a hard time uh, because Tesla, to me, is still saying that it wants lower price. And that's going to be pretty intense because the bottom line is that we know that uh, Tesla is in all the indices right now. And uh, the more pressure that gets put on Tesla, the more pressure that gets put on the markets in general. Let's get over to that oil market and take a look at that oil market. Uh, oil's caught a bid once again. You get oil trading up $1.63. We take a look at that market. Uh, we have uh, 400,000 contracts in that market. So let's take a look at this. Hey, this is going up there again, man. The bottom line, yeah, this is game. Uh, if I put the continuous contract on, let me just look at this continuous contract. Because I believe we get game like at $70, $75 inside the oil market. Um, pull this back, put this on a monthly. And you're going to kind of see that the top of the range that we're talking about, there's no reason that it can't go run to the top of the range. Yeah, see, the top of the range out here is 75 bucks. Uh, the longer that we stay over 65, the higher the probability is you're going to go to 75. You know, we, tr we, tr we traded at 75. Um, let's see, would you, this is uh, 2018. We were trading up, up at 75 for over five months. Uh, where we are right now at the 65, what you, you, you're seeing there, and this is pretty impressive actually, uh, is that the market itself is taking out almost a year of trading at that level. So it's not going to take much once you get over that level and sustain that. And we're right at it right now. Uh, ExxonMobil. We take a look at some of the big oil integrated stocks. XOM. What do we have with ExxonMobil? ExxonMobil right now. Uh, trading flat, down 35 cents actually. We put this, okay, so this is gonna, this is gonna, okay, so Exxon, this is gonna be interesting watching Exxon. We're at $61.40. Now, 63 is monster, uh, well, 63 is ice, you know? So the bottom line is that if you're looking to get into, um, large integrated oils. I wouldn't buy them yet, because most times this is what ends up happening. You'll come up to ice, then you'll pull back, then it's gonna try it again. You know, so what I would do, I just sit here, wait for a pullback, see if the pullback's on light volume. If it's on light volume, then you get some action. Stay right there, folks, come right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50.
Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. C call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Tom O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now at 223. NASDAQ's up 336. S&Ps are up 44. You know, uh, when, when markets go downtown, folks, uh, the bottom line is that we talk a lot about the downtick. Okay, I want to show you something here, okay? Because this downtick that we did get was pretty extraordinary. Hadn't seen one like this for, in quite some time. Uh, the downtick that we had got was minus 1956. That was telling you flat out, and this was last Thursday, that was telling you flat out that the uh, amount of selling simultaneously was huge. And the way this works is that you look for one down tick for a, a bottom, then you look for a second down tick that's 70% of the down tick. We, we got it both. Thursday you got one, Friday you got one, um, Monday you got one. That being said, then what you do is this, like today I, I see the charge going forward. As you're looking for a a top, you're going to look just for the opposite. And we do not have that. And specifically what I mean is that if we were coming up to a top and you're going to be topping out, what you would see is that you would see a monster uptick, which we didn't have. So that, that is saying that what you don't have out here, even though this market is trending up and it's trending up very quickly, you do not have a panic are a short selling buy as we are going to higher price. Platinum, let's go over to the platinum market and take a look at the platinum market. Platinum out here is down $1.60 today. We are trading right now at $1,200. Now let's do this. We haven't done this for a while. I'm gonna put platinum up and I'm gonna, I wanna see the, the, the correlation because my take is that platinum is going to overtake gold once again. Okay, so let me see how I'm doing this. Why isn't this coming up? Because so I'm going to I'm going to put a chart up, folks, with both of these on here. GC1, so you can see the correlation of how we number one. Come on, compare. Where is that compare? Oh, there we go. Okay, compare. Mm, there's gold. Ugh. Okay, sorry about that, folks. I'm going to have to get that at the break. They, they changed that. Uh, it looks like they changed how I'm going to do that uh, inside, inside of that market. Some of the South African equities out here, if we take a look at uh, Harmony Gold, how many gold basically sideways move? And if you are into the South African equities, folks, you got to definitely keep your eye on the rand. So the rand dollar today, as our U.S. dollar gets weaker, bottom line, rand dollar gets stronger, and the South Africans do not like that, <laughs> uh, meaning the mining stocks. So you're going to see the rands down at 2,600 uh, ticks out here today. You're at $14.81. We go take a look at uh, GFI, gold fields. 
We have a gold fields. That's well, not bad. Gold fields still building cars for a higher price. The gold fields are up 37 cents today. That is going to be going after the uh, price point of $10.66. And right now you are trading out at $9.45. Uh, what is going to get intriguing here, let's go take a look at the indice volume inside of the Dow Industrials as it's going to higher price. Okay, so check this out. This is, there's no doubt this is going to be a huge contraction of volume out here today. Uh, we're at 737,000 uh, shares. 1.2 billion we did yesterday. The way this is shaken out is that that is telling me that we're going to be lucky to do a billion. Now, if that's what we get, that is going to be concerning for the Dow, inside the Dow Industrial uh, Equities. You know, we're, we're pushing away from the breakout area. There's no doubt about that, but that would be concerning. We take a look at what's moving the Dow around today. You get Boeing putting 41 positive points, Microsoft 33, Salesforce 28, United Health 26. Taken away from it, Caterpillar minus 10, Verizon minus 8. You got McDonald's minus 7, JP Morgan minus 5. Let's go take a look at the Caterpillar, because Caterpillar is really important for the whole commodity sector. We take a look at the, no, nah, that's nothing. Okay, so you're down at buck 65, you are still at highs. The housing business, let's go take a look at the housing business. What we had out here yesterday, the bottom line inside the housing business is that you had price volume moves and they were ABC structures on the way up. Toll Brothers, Toll Brothers is down 24 cents today. That being said, now watch this one. This is going to be cool, man. I love these folks. When you break a B point, you do it with volume, then you give it up on price. Two different things end up happening here. We already know that the, the buyers are in here. You broke, the vol you broke it with volume. You got a confirmed ABC structure on the way up. Uh, this one here, I believe this was, uh, what, 56, 41, approximately 15. That's saying it wants to go to 65, and right now you're at 57.37. Now, it's late enough in the week that we can do this on a weekly also. We put the weekly up. Now, the weekly's going to need more juice. Oh, no, it's not. Wow. This is an ABC structure up, man. This is, free. This is sweet. This is saying that the housing market is not stopping. Toll Brothers is an ABC structure up. Is it the same ABC I'm looking at? Yep, it's the same ABC I'm looking at. That's 65. Let's go take a look at a few of the others. This is pretty cool. And I can tell you, we know we'll, it's in a, the housing market's in a frenzy, folks. There's no doubt about that. The real question is, is that to stay in a frenzy in a year, you know, it doesn't leave in a month, I can tell you that. Because when the frenzy starts, it, it takes a lot longer than that. The cool thing, I love the idea that we're in the market uh, and in the housing market because the fact of the matter is, I remember in 2007, 2008, the market itself, meaning the stock market, that generated that this thing was going to be a mess nine months before the baby happened. We go take a look at, uh, let's go pull up, I'll pull up the dog. So the dog inside the housing market is Biza, uh, meaning chart-wise, BZH. So if you really want to just wrap your head around and say, okay, what's the weakest that's in there? So that you can say, okay, if this thing's going south, we're going to know pretty quickly, it's Beza Homes. That being said, Beza also looks like it's going, to, it's going to be an ABC up. So the bottom line is that Beza broke the B point here of uh, $20.50. You get volume on the break. Let me put this in a monthly. Unreal. It's good news. Yeah, bottom line, uh, Beza, even being the dog... Uh, of this wants higher price. What a trip. Yeah. Beza's is looking to get up to the $25 area, and right now you're at trading 21. And if you want to see that you should always take stops, folks, uh, Beza is the ultimate of they did not do the right thing. On the way down, Bees, the high of Bees is $410. You're only at $21. The rest of these equities, folks, what they had done, Lana was one of the smartest. Lana had a huge amount of land. They bit the bullet right away. When they bit the bullet, 
on this, I'm talking about 2009, 2010. They sold off the land, took a loss, big loss, and guess what? They end up buying the same land back, folks, okay? Bottom line, at pennies on the dollar. Stay right there, folks, we'll come right back. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Markets can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today. Introducing Primal Edge. Today, it's even more important to take a supplement that complements your health. Primal Edge is specifically formulated to boost your immune system and help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Our early ancestors found all their nutritional requirements in the wild environment. But today our food sources don't contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients that we need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based, vitamins, minerals, fatty and amino acids in an easy to use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated humic and fulvic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They've been called miracle molecules because like sunlight, air and water, without them life cannot exist. That's right, Ellen. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every morning. morning. Primal Edge, just $89 exclusively at tfnn.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now up 206, NASDAQ up 327, S&P's up 41. The question about commercial real estate, I wouldn't be uh, in commercial real estate right now. Uh, the bottom line is that uh, commercial real estate is going to take a bit longer for uh, all these businesses to come back. Uh, we haven't seen, uh, my take is that, even close to uh, the bottom inside commercial real estate. The, um, unfortunately, the horror stories are going to be uh, basically coming out, I suspect, the next uh, three months, six months, a year. Um, in, inside of that business. We're going to take a look at the uh, volume characteristics inside of these markets as we come into the close. Uh, NYSE, as I said a little bit earlier, definitely needs is going to need a lot more juice. That being said, inside the composite, what we have with the composite, the composite's going to do it. The composite's going to end up coming in with about 6 billion shares. Um, not bad. The GDX will, when I do the update, I should have the uh, numbers on the GDX. Uh, the GDI, it, it is starting to basically uh, pop up uh, a bit, meaning the uh, the volume characteristic. Right now, you're at 17.7 million. Uh, if we can get 20 million, it wouldn't be bad. Uh, inside of a closing trade, you're going to see the closing trade is going to come out with uh, some numbers. Inside, meaning what happens, folks, is that they pile a huge amount of trade inside of the close. 
Uh, we take a look at the NDX 100. You're going to see that, that we're at 13,053. That's going to close just about at its highs. Uh, when you close just about at your high, you're coming in to a Friday. That's telling me that it's going to ramp up once again. And I suspect what we're going to see is this. The, uh, see, overnight, I, I, uh, today, the, the DAX, let me just see this. See, Europe was really um, weak out here today. Well, the DAX was up 29. Um, not bad. But what I expect we're going to see out here tomorrow morning is this, is that you're going to see the futures that are up again. The S&P is going to be over its high, and it's going to try to get away from uh, that high as quick as it can. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about, whatever you focus on grows. And whatever you want, my folks, visualize it like a nice big motion picture. Step into it, take ownership of it, and fly with it. Everything we need, folks, is right inside us. Grab it and have a blast with us. Please tell your friends about TFNN. Tell them to go to YouTube and subscribe.